In this video, I'll show you how to specify a delivery time per product in your WooCommerce store in just a few simple steps. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, so here we are on our demo site and currently you can see that this particular product will be delivered in 25 days. Again, you can customize the wording to suit your store requirement. Okay, so for example, you can say ship within X amount of days, estimated delivery date, etc, etc. Okay, so it's up to you. Okay, so when we click on a product page as well, here we can see the same notice letting us know that this will be delivered in 25 days, okay? And as I said, you can specify it per product. So if you wanna create a similar setup on your WooCommerce store, the first step is to head over to aovup.com. Go ahead and download the lead time plugin by aovup. I'll leave a link in the description below. And with that being said, let's head over to our dashboard. Assuming you've downloaded the lead time plugin by aovup, the next step is just to go ahead and upload that plugin so we'll go plugins add new upload and install the plugin once you've done so you'll see this we suite menu here go ahead and activate your license key once you've done so it'll automatically redirect you to this add-on section okay and then from here we can just scroll down and then just make sure we enable the lead time plugin so i've already got this installed and active so i'm just going to click manage i'm going to display our lead time on the product page so again this is totally up to you where you want to display okay so currently Currently I'm showing it on the product page, the shop slash category page, and also on the order details page. Okay, so I want to keep customers in the loop so they can manage their expectations with regards to when items will be arriving. Okay, so they might order several different items. And then obviously if we've got different lead time on those particular products, it might take longer to fulfill, whether it's due to logistical challenges, whether it's the time it takes to create, whatever the use case is, we can just let customers be aware that the items will be arriving at different times okay so we're going to display our lead time for products which are in stock okay you can set it for products which are out of stock as well or even for items which are on back order and in here we've got our prefix so we can say delivering so this is just like a global message right that you can display for all products if you didn't want to do this then you can just ignore this step i'll show you how to customize it per product in a second okay but in the event you just want to add a placeholder message for all your products then you can say something like delivering and then you can add the value here and then we can specify the units here so it's totally up to you if you want to add this global placeholder when you customize the message and the wording on the product level then it will override this settings here anyway okay so now let's navigate over to one of our products so i've already got this one open here so all i'm going to do is i'm going to edit this product and then i'll show you how you can customize it okay so when we scroll down we've got this new tab here under product data which says lead time okay and then here we can specify the lead time okay so we can say for example we can customize the wording as i said so we can say for the lead time prefix we're just going to say ship in and then for the lead time value we're going to say maybe five days we're going to ship this products within five days okay so again for the units we'll just leave this as days we can set it to weeks and months as well so let's go ahead and update this and now when we view this product, we should see the updated messaging. Okay, and here you can see it says ships in um, five days, for example. And it's the same thing if we view the shop page. Okay, so here you can see this particular product will be shipped in five days. Um, these ones have got our default messaging, which we've specified on a global level, right? But as you can see, you can actually customize the delivery dates per product, okay? And that's a quick and simple way to customize the delivery date per product on your WooCommerce store. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you've got any questions, leave in a comment box below or reach out to support and we'll get back to you as soon as possible.